this is Robin. Welcome to MyPinkStamper.com. I'm so happy that you're here with me. Today, I am going to be sharing a non-card project. I'm going to be showing you how to make a cute little uh, belly band for our acetate card boxes, uh, three and an eighth by three and an eighth. And then I'm going to show you some little note cards that I have made to add in these. So I am spotlighting the Poinsett Poinsettia Petals bundle. We'll just be using one of the stamps from this stamp set. And then we're using some of the beautiful dies to create this project. Now I'm also going to be showcasing this wonderful red velvet paper that we have in our holiday catalog, all of these items. Most of these items are from our new holiday mini catalog. And also some black glimmer paper. I'm going to make a very uh, untraditional poinsettia for you today, but guess what? You can make flowers any color you want. You can make anything any color you want for your uh, paper crafting and your other crafting projects. So let's go ahead and we'll jump in and we're going to be using the Stampin' Cut and Emboss to cut out some of these projects. And there's also a little bit of heat embossing in this video tutorial. You're gonna get a little bit of everything with this one. So this is a really good um, video for you today, if I do say so myself. So I am going to be pulling out, this is our Stampin' Cut and Emboss. It's been available since September. Um, on my pink, shop mypinkstamper.com and it is in stock right now. So if you're looking for a new die cutting machine, this one is available now. And I have a well-loved <laughs> plate that I'm using right now, but it doesn't matter. I'm getting a lot of use out of it. So I'm going to be using our black glimmer glitter paper. This one's actually called glitter paper. And it comes in sheets of uh, 12 by 12. And you get two sheets in a pack. So for this one, we're going to be cutting I hope I grabbed the right size. I might need to go grab another little piece here. We're going to be cutting one big one, one medium. And let me grab my little, right behind me, I have another little scrap. And then one of the smallest size, okay? So I'm going to run that through one time. And yes, it is very non-traditional, but that's why I decided I wanted to also add the red velvet because when I was first thinking about this project, I was thinking, oh, how about black glitter poinsettia flower <laughs> flowers? Okay, so now hopefully this is enough of the <sighs> of the red um, velvet. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna get it all to fit in there. I want to utilize it. Okay, so now what I love about this die set, it has these little embossing um, dies that fit inside the die. So I'm gonna show you one of them. And I'm not using, an, um, using them on all of them, only on the two largest. I'm not going to be using them on the smallest one. Make sure I line these up. I have been lucking out and lining these up just right. <laughs> I've been making poinsettia projects all day and I haven't even had to move them around. They just magically lined up. Okay, so I'm gonna run this through. There we go. Okay, and press this down and then just run it through. And that's all I believe we're doing with that. So I can take these off and I'm gonna show you what they look like. And I think you're gonna like them. I think you're gonna say, whoa, those are so cool. Let me fix my camera real quick. Okay. I'm gonna take off these dies. We don't need them anymore. Now I've already done the coordinating little mini cards to show you. And I'll show you those in just a second when I'm done with the project. So you can see what the belly band is gonna look like. And if you don't know what a belly band is, it's actually so fun because you can use belly bands on anything. And if you're gonna gift uh, a candy bar to a friend, you can add a belly band. So they're just a little band that you can add around with like a, an embellishment or um, an element on it. And so I'm gonna show you what we're going to do with this one. Okay, look how fun. Can you see how that is embossed? And it shows the leaf um, indent 
indentation, is that right? Okay, so we're going to layer these up. I'm going to start with the red um, velvet on the bottom, and I'm going to be layering these up with our glue dots. So I will just put a glue dot on the back of this black glitter, and I'm going to stagger it a little bit like that. And then I'm just going to layer them up by size. The next one will be the, make sure I grabbed it. Okay. And I'm going to kind of stagger it a little bit so you can kind of see the different layers in there. And then we'll do this black glitter. Okay. And then I'm going to move this a little bit. Isn't this so beautiful? It's just gorgeous. This is quite an element for a belly band. I probably usually wouldn't go this crazy with it, but you know, I was in an, I was in a mood and I was playing with my craft stuff. You know how that gets. And I just kept adding more things and it was so fun. Okay. So now on top of that, I'm going to add one of our rhinestones and I'm just going to use our bone folder to add it. And there's self adhesive. Just stick that right on there. Okay, so now all I have to do is make the belly band part. But before I do that, I wanted to take this Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to emboss. I want to emboss the sentiments, warm wishes from our home to yours. And that is part of the Poinsettia Petals uh, stamp set. And there's also great stamps in there if you want to make matching tags. Um, or on the inside of the cards for the mini cards. So these are, I'm going to be showing you just some three by three cards that are great to gift to your friends and your neighbors and your family. So instead of just giving them a gift, give them the gift of cards that they can actually use to give to someone else. All right, so this is Whisper White cardstock. It's just a scrap piece. You just need a little piece, but big enough to hold on to because we are going to be heat embossing. I'm using Versamark ink, Versamark ink pad. And then this is Cherry Cobbler. And then I have my clear embossing powder ready to go because we are going to be working really fast here. And we wanna make sure we don't get any of the powder in our ink pads, which I think I did. I'm looking at it right now. Okay, so we're going to ink up in the Versamark. And if you're making multiple, you'll have to clean off the ink, the stamp in between. And I'm going to stamp that right on here. And because I stamped it in the Versamark first, it just gives it uh, more of a sticky surface. So it'll pick up this white powder, the embossing powder. Now I'm going to take our heat tool and I'm going to heat emboss this. Okay, now if you can kind of see that, now it's a raised look. And the reason why I did, chose to emboss it instead of just stamping it is the cute little mini cards that coordinate. I actually embossed those with white powder on black cardstock. So you're going to see how that's going to look. So I kind of wanted everything to just go together uh, for this whole little gift that I have made. And okay, now I can start putting this together. So I am, and I am going to just trim this up. Make sure that I have this on here right. Okay. So I have it like that. Now I have all of my elements ready to go and I'm going to take the cute little treat box. Now these are meant to hold three by three cards. So you can also probably fit a cookie in there, but they're really for our note cards. We also carry the full acetate card packs. I'll have the link to or the description and item code on the screen. Everything you see in today's video can be ordered directly from my shopping page if you're in the United States. I ship anywhere in the United States. Shopmypinksamper.com. Okay, I'm gonna click that in there. 
click. All right. So I'm going to keep that open to show you how you would add your uh, cards in there. So I want to make a belly band. So I'm using this beautiful flocked paper that coordinates with the point, the pedal, point set up pedals. And I'll have the item number on the screen for you. If you are just watching this and you haven't written anything down, you can find everything that I used in today's video directly in the description below and also at the very end of this video. Just makes it easier. I have this cut at one and a quarter by nine and a half inches and I'm just going to wrap it around and I just kind of crease it and then I fold it really tight. Now, I'm not going to complete this one for you, but I'm going to show you what I use. I use our Terran tape and I add it on the end and then I'll wrap it around there and then I'll add this on with dimensionals, but I want to go ahead and show you the completed belly band. Now it's called a belly band because it goes on and off like this around the belly, but you can also stick a little bit of adhesive back here if you don't want it to move. But watch this. Here is the belly band and here are the most adorable coordinating little mini three by three cards that I'm going to use. I'm going to give this as a gift to one of my friends. So here are the cute little cards and I didn't demonstrate how to make these because they're the same as this. I just used the smallest, the smallest poinsettia and I forgot I didn't add the petal on the outside of the other one. So on this one, before you add that, don't forget to add the little insert right here inside insert part. Now this is where I embossed and there is our cute belly band project and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up and please leave a comment below. I love to hear from you guys so much and also don't forget to subscribe and click the little notification bell if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.